Welcome to our Solution Demo video series. This video will walk through how PolyAnalyst can be used to build a voice of customer analysis solution. The solution we'll be showing is based on data from a toothpaste product survey that a consumer goods manufacturer conducted. The manufacturer was primarily interested in analyzing text comments customers provided in their surveys. Specifically, they wanted to identify the product issues of top interest to customers, discover the issues with the most negative customer feedback, and reveal predictors of customer purchase intent based on key aspects of the toothpaste that were identified from the customer survey text comments. So let's step through the project script of this voice of customer analysis solution, and then take a look at the information it was able to extract. Typically, there are three stages of analysis for this type of solution. Data loading and pre-processing, data-driven and analyst-driven text analysis, and results visualization and web report building. Let's first discuss data loading and pre-processing. The first step is to load the product survey data. In this case, the raw data is contained in a CSV file, so we use PolyAnalyst's CSV source node to load the data into the project. After loading the data into this node, we can see that this data set contains about 1,200 feedback survey records. We notice there are four columns providing categorical data and also a free response text column for customers to provide feedback on what they would want improved about the product. Without any further processing, you can obtain a quick overview of the dataset by viewing the statistics tab in the node. In this tab, we can view visualizations that summarize the number of records belonging to each of the categorical variables in our dataset. From this overview, we can see that the survey data is primarily provided by female consumers and that there were six toothpaste products reviewed. Overall, the majority of customers gave very good and good product ratings to the products based on a 5-point Likert scale, and according to a 5-point Likert scale on purchase intent, most of the customers indicated a desire to probably or maybe buy the product they reviewed. If we want to understand the reasons why customers chose the product ratings and purchase intention scores that they did, we need to analyze the text comments. To begin analyzing the text data, we first index the text column of the dataset using the system's index node. This node performs tokenization, identifies phrases, and assigns a position and part of speech to each word in the text comments for use in downstream natural language processing tasks. Because free response text usually contains spelling errors, we next perform spell checking. Spell checking is crucial for obtaining an accurate analysis of the text themes, keywords, and phrases in the dataset because otherwise the system would render each spelling variant of a term as a different keyword. The system's built-in note automatically detects and corrects misspelled words or phrases, utilizing a combination of built-in dictionaries as well as customized dictionaries the user can create. After we finish data preprocessing, we move on to data-driven text analysis. We can get an overview of the text comments and the overall themes by using PolyAnalyst's automated keyword extraction node. As you can see, the system identifies the most frequent or significant keywords and phrases that appear in the dataset. In this view, you can see the list of keywords and phrases and drill down to the comments containing the keywords. In the next tab, the Word Cloud feature allows you to view the most common themes that show up, such as taste. Navigating to the Keywords Table tab, we can generate a Link Terms node. This Link Terms node is helpful for revealing the relationships among keywords by tabulating the correlations between the words and using this information to separate out the related words and phrases into clusters. This type of overview assists in the analyst-driven stage of the analysis, particularly when categorizing the themes in the comments. The links between the various terms can be very helpful for discovering relationships to include in the analyst-driven text analysis stage. For example, we can examine the various terms linked with taste and drill down to view the context in which these terms are used. As you can see, the words flavor and taste are used interchangeably by customers in the text comments. These words can be specified as synonyms in PolyAnalyst by modifying the project dictionaries. You can learn more about managing and customizing dictionaries in PolyAnalyst by viewing Megaputer's other tutorial videos. After identifying the main keywords and phrases in the text comments, 
we next want to analyze the sentiment those words and phrases are expressing. The system's sentiment analysis node provides an out-of-the-box solution for analyzing sentiments contained in the text comments by capturing linguistic and semantic information. In this view of the sentiment analysis results, we can see a summary of the sentiments by category that the user can define, a panel listing the sentiment scoring results by head object, the sentiment score evaluations for words related to the head object terms, and a drill down table that shows the negative or positive sentiment phrases in the context of the original comments. For example, we see that customers often commented on their displeasure with the taste of the toothpaste and the various permutations of this expression are captured and aggregated by the system. Overall, sentiment analysis can serve as the starting point for categorizing the themes in the comments into categories and determining what customers liked and disliked the most about the products they reviewed. Once we've completed the data-driven analysis tasks for analyzing the text comments in the customer surveys, we now can take that information we learned about the text data and shift to analyst-driven analysis. We can now begin organizing the text analysis results into meaningful categories. The taxonomy node is an important tool for classifying the customer survey records into custom categories based on the content of the text column. In this project, we built a taxonomy with two levels, issues and sub-issues. In the issue categories, we covered the main aspects of the toothpaste products that were discussed in the survey, such as taste, texture, effect of using the toothpaste, and any unintended aftermath effects related to using the toothpaste. For each of these issue categories, the various sub-issues related to the parent category are listed. Each record is then assigned to a category or multiple categories based on whether it matches the issue category search query. This categorization step helps quantify relative support for the various issues and sub-issues that were mentioned. And as you can see, taste and texture were common topics discussed in the comments with bad taste being a prevalent comment when we drill down to the sub-issue for the taste category. And because the taxonomy is connected with the sentiment analysis node, we also obtain the relative degree of negative or positive sentiment for each of the issue and sub-issues. With this information, we can determine the top issues of interest as well as the top negative issues cited in the customer surveys which helps us answer two of the three analysis objectives we set for this customer survey analysis project. To complete the third analysis objective we set for this solution, the top issues of interest and top negative issues in the text comments can also be analyzed against customer buying intentions to discover which themes in the comments are more predictive of whether a customer will or will not buy a product. The results of this analysis can be viewed using PolyAnalyst's built-in visualization nodes, such as link graphs, dimension matrix, bar charts, tree maps, and bubble charts. For example, the dimension matrix view allows us to drill down by product to the top issues and sub-issues cited in the comments for customers belonging to each purchase intent level. And in the bubble chart, we can see another view of the top issues mentioned for each product being reviewed. For a more interactive summary of the analysis results, this Voice of Customer solution has an integrated web report application. These web reports are accessible through all standard web browsers, and they provide an organized graphical summary of the results that can be easily shared with multiple business users and decision makers. So let's now take a look at the web report for this Voice of Customer analysis solution. As you can see, there are several tabbed pages in this web report. Each page can be customized with a series of widgets that correspond to the data and results visualization nodes in the source analysis project. So let's start with the overview. This overview page shows the main themes extracted from the text comments in the survey. If you click on any word in the keyword cloud, for example, taste, you can see that both the link analysis view and the drill down table change accordingly. This gives you a sense of what evaluative modifiers are linked with taste and lets you see these in the context of the actual text comments. Next, let's take a closer look at the product issue and sub-issue categories that were extracted from the text comments. This page tells us the top issues discovered in the customer comments. The current view of the bar charts shows the top issues and sub-issues cited for all of the toothpaste products 
and the pie chart shows the number of total issues according to product. Overall, we see that across all products, the top issues in the survey comments were related to taste, texture, aftermath, and effect. And not surprisingly, these issues seem consistent with the types of attributes consumers would look for in a toothpaste. If we click on a product issue, such as taste, we can view the top sub-issues in that category, which are bad taste, mint taste, and too strong. We can also see that the pie chart changes to show for each toothpaste product the percentage of comments that contained a theme related to taste, and specifically bad taste. Based on this view, it seems that Distinct Gum Protection O had the majority of complaints related to bad taste compared to the other toothpaste products reviewed. Likewise, we can isolate the top issues by product by clicking on a particular toothpaste product in the pie chart. For example, when we select Distinct Gum Protection O, it shows that the majority of issues mentioned are regarding taste product issues, followed by texture and aftermath. However, for the Crystal White Toothpaste product, the top issues relate to effect, texture, and taste in somewhat equivalent amounts. If you want to see the top negative issues in the comments, which is our second objective for this text analysis solution, the tree map view provides a high-level view of the top negative issues of interest in the comments for each of the six toothpaste products. The overall aggregated count of issues for each issue category is represented by the size of the box, and the degree of negative sentiment is displayed by color. As you can see, effect and taste are among the top negative issues. Even if other aspects, like texture or packaging, are cited more often in some of the other toothpaste products. To understand the types of issues that most strongly factor into the buying decision, which was the third objective of this text analysis solution, we can use a link graph. This view summarizes the top themes in the text associated with a customer's stated purchase intention. Here we can see that among the reasons influencing a customer's decision, issues with effect and taste appear among the issues cited when a customer decides they definitely won't buy the toothpaste product. Whereas a customer may cite any number of other critiques about the toothpaste, such as issues related to the packaging, yet still strongly consider buying the product. So as a recap, we demonstrated how polyanalysts can be used to build a voice of customer analysis solution that identifies the top product issues, top negative issues, and the most prevalent issues cited in connection with the customer's buying intention. With an integrated text analysis solution, this consumer goods manufacturer can stay on top of customer product preferences and determine which of the toothpaste products it may consider modifying or reformulating based on the customer feedback. And because the web reporting application is linked to the project script, the results can be automatically updated if additional survey data is loaded for ongoing analysis of customer preferences. This type of solution enables business users and decision makers to get the most out of their customer feedback data. And this concludes our demo of a voice of customer analysis solution powered by PolyAnalyst. To learn more about how this solution was built, please register to view our related technical tutorial videos or sign up for a complimentary live demo. Thanks for watching.